Hello. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm like, I don't know what y'all want. You want me to get fat and get a heart attack? You want me to come here and eat healthy? What do you want? I think people just want the company, right? And then half y'all don't want anything. I did a poll and like half y'all said, we're just here to support. Uh, my tongue is blue. Oh, by the way, this is my first time ever having great value. And yes, they're all here. Okay, first time. These were on sale for $1.99 for all this popcorn. And I grew up with Smart Mart Pop. Okay. And what was the other one? AMC Theater or something? Hmm. I'm interested. I also have a lot of chips here. So, hi. Oh my gosh, I haven't made a sit down video for you guys for like a couple of weeks, probably a month actually. Well, life has been an adventure. What have we have been doing lately? Dancing around in my snorkel, uh, hmm. My little CPAP machine, mm, this is good, I think. He makes the best movie theater popcorn, asking for a friend. Goes for me. I really, honestly, this is not good. It's missing salt. Where's the chase? <laughs> Where's the salt? Mm. It's fine. Well, you guys like the real me, so you're gonna get some mellow nicotine. You guys, actually, I'm a really mellow person. And I'm also very uh, unpredictable. So sometimes I'm in a horrible mood. For mood swings. Ew, this is not good. Like it's missing salt. Interesting, yet I taste the salt. I don't know what it's missing. Mm, one of the best things. Oh, so I, oh, let me tell you. I was going to go to the movie theater AMC here in Orlando. And I called. I said, do you still have, um, can we come in to buy popcorn? Can we come in to purchase it but not see a movie? They said, oh, yeah, people do it all the time. However, I've called like five times now trying to find, I forgot to ask when I got a hold of someone. Can I do my own butter? That was the best part about going to the movies as a child. Mm, you get your bag, your bucket of popcorn, and you go to that pump, and you go pump, 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 shake it around, pump, 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 shake it around. Now, sometimes we would go to the theater where they where they put the butter on for you. I remember my family would say, "Split it up, please. I want butter throughout, please. Extra, extra butter throughout." And what they they come in these big buckets here in America, in case we have people here from different countries. Look at me, I'm always out of breath. I know. If you have a big bucket like this, when you put some little, it's liquid butter, it's like oil. It's actually made from coconut. I've been looking it up to see, like maybe I should buy some for here. It's coconut based oil. Anyway, if you pump it, pump, 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 or sometimes it's, it's automatic. You know, when you go to those soap dispensers in the bathroom and like the restaurant, you put your hand under it and soap comes up automatically, beep. Sometimes it's one of those machines and they just go, it's a big bucket and they go, and it's coming out right here. Okay, but it's not gonna reach the bottom or the middle. So just the top part's all buttery. Anyway, the best movie theater experience is when you can do it yourself. And I would drench my, I would drench my popcorn. I would drench it. Maybe that's all it needs. Anyways, I said to myself, you know, I'm basically disabled and I know people get upset when I say that because I'm abled in some ways, but I'm also not fully abled. I can't even touch my ass crack anymore. Um, I can't touch my ass crack anymore. <laughs> I can't. I can't touch my ass crack anymore. I can't, eat, I can't do it. So I'm not fully abled. I'm 400 pounds. Well, almost, we're like 280. Uh, did I say two? See, I'm not thinking three. Uh, I never know what the f I am. I can see him in one of those moods. I'm like, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> By the way, you can still get 10% off my codes N-I-K-O, Nico, which is not my name, by the way, Nico, but that's what they wanted. Mm. I 
I'm just hungry. I shouldn't be eating that. Let's try some chips. This stuff is cancer. Cancer in a bottle. Don't have it often. I like the fact that it comes like a tuna can. Fuck, bitch. Fuck. <sighs> it's nice to be able to just chill. I feel like when I... Tr see, I can't see you guys. I always imagine grown-ups. And I don't mean just actual... By age grumps, I mean maturity level. I have people in 20s, 30s, 40s that watch my chat. They're just, there's some really nasty, nasty, just odd people on the internet. And you've seen them, right? And my comments leave it. And I just call them Ashley's and you know. It is what it is, but see this stuff freaks me out. It, ooh, it could slice you, ooh, into the trash. Bye bye. Okay. I have some great, this is not a beautiful display. Okay, so this is, someone's enjoyed the bag, me. This is your lightly salted restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. Let me try one. Hmm. Oh, f me. Why is that so tasty? It should have, it, it comes in a can. This is toxic. Expires in four years. Not like I give a shit. It's all fried up anyway with oil and salt. I mean, come on. Tastes like seeds. It's good, actually. Mmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. Having a little snack. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. F me. Ah, f Although I haven't done that in a long time. I like to watch it. I like to think, fantasize, but oh, f I'm not doing it. I'm out of breath, you guys. This is this is every day. I'm gasping for air. Obviously, my diet's not very good, but this is uh, yellow corn. This is white corn. Okay. Here they are. Oh, they look uh. There's a lot of stuff going on. Mmm. Into the tuna fish can. Organic corn, organic sunflower oil, and sea salt. Why does it taste like there's seasoning? Are you sure that's all the ingredients? Product of USA with US and imported ingredients. An authentic blend of real ground and white yellow corn. Real ground white and yellow corn. I actually love how the bag is flat at the bottom, so it just sits. Whereas these, these are gonna tipple top of over. This is designed like those Chick-fil-A french fries containers that are flat on the bottom. Mmm. I like them way more. All this went through my body and it wasn't even the best. Has seeds. You can look at the photo, you know what I mean? Like, look at that photo. It just smells like pet food. It's good. It's grainy. You can taste a lot of different grains going on. The winner is this one, though. <sighs> laundry detergent sometimes. Tide. It would go back and forth between Tide and laundry detergent. Hmm. They have cheeses and stuff. But they import. And then they package.
Anyone want this? A dollar dragon, I mean, shh, that's a ton of food. How many calories are in a pouch? Two servings per bag. One bag tablespoon unpopped is 180. One cup popped. 30, so there's 60 calories a bag? That can't be. I don't know, this is very confusing to me. Why would they bother telling you calories of unpopped? Is someone gonna open up and scoop it out like that and eat the seeds? Whole, like what? I don't know. Why, why bother? You can't consume it that way. And you just add to the confusion. Not like I care about calories, but. So how are you guys? Sometimes I wish I could ask you questions here. And like have you respond in real time. Like a hangout, like a meetup. I've never done a meetup. Only, I've done one. 2000, uh, 15? 2016 in London, England. And it wasn't just me, it was actually most people were there for my friend at the time. Most people weren't even there for me. Yeah, that was a good time. She was a good little YouTuber and I was a really small YouTuber. I didn't know what the f I was doing. And I had such a good time and the people were nice and she was nice, the whole thing was nice. Sometimes I, w I wish I was British. Oh, they, they can be sassy. They can be sassy. Like everything gets an exclamation mark. Everything is an, is exasperate, exasperated, er, exasperation. Everything is a huff and a puff. Ah, oh, well, ah, oh, oh, well, 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 just snippy, snooty. Any British people watching? <laughs> Not all like that. And I think they get that stereotype here in America because of their accent. They just sound like, oh, they think they're so above you. But, uh, because they are. <laughs> We're kind of trashy over here. In America. But, um, that's the last time I've ever done a meetup. And, again, it wasn't mine. It was a group meetup. Me well, again, us combined, but mostly her followers. And that's it. I don't know. I did one in New York by myself. I'm like, 15 people show up at a restaurant. We had to get the back room. It was for vegan stuff. People brought me gifts. It was, I, I was, I'm like, why do you like me that much? What do I do? I don't know. I just sit here and feel myself eating. What? It was very awkward for me to have followers and then people to give me gifts. I'm like, what? I post my, my, my food on the internet. You're coming to... You're paying to go on the subway, paying for gas, however they got themselves to the restaurant. It was downtown New York City. New York. And uh, I'm like, I, I, uh, and I guarantee most of those people don't even watch me anymore because I'm not vegan. I think everything I got was food, so I ate it. But could you imagine getting to get, no offense, but I would get so much shit and clutter, I'm like, it's gonna turn to a hoarder's house and I feel horrible receiving it and throwing it away or giving it away or just dumping it back at Goodwill. It's like a waste of their time, their money, my time, my money. The thought counts, I like the thought. But clutter is clutter and if you have thousands of fans, I had a PO Box opening video one time. Someone, I mean, I like the food. Some person sent me Doritos. <laughs> Some people, but some people sent me these creepy dolls and I feel so bad because, you know, they put their money into it. They put their time, see, that's why I'd rather just give you stuff. Like, you want a cameo, I'll, t I'll say your name, I'll talk to your friend. That's personal, it's a memory, that's worth money. Patreon, you're getting more content, you feel like you're supporting the creator, that's worth money. But clutter, I don't know, I'm like, are my shirts, are, is my merch clutter? It could be. If you're not into shirts, don't buy the shirt. Don't buy clutter. But, but people like stuff. People like all that stuff. Have you noticed my apartment has nothing? No pictures, no, I, I just feel mentally better. When it's mostly empty. Less to think about, maintain, clean, fix. Dust, look at, it just, I become cluttered. 
So yeah, people used to send me dolls, shoes that didn't fit me. I got flip flops. What else would I get? Sometimes cooking utensils, which came in handy, but I remember so much stuff. I'm like, what do I do with this stuff? Like beads and bracelets and stickers. And I'm like, what am I gonna put stickers? I don't, I'm a... I just feel bad because it's a wasted resource. It could have gone to someone else that would have used it. It's like when you buy a gift for someone, you don't know what to give them, but you have to give them something because you feel like you have to. That's, it was just, that's exactly how I put it. I always felt like I, they felt like they had to get me shit and I don't want shit. Give me money. Buy a cameo, then I can give you something that I feel like lasts better. Then, hey, I sent Nikocado a toy truck, and some girl sent me a doll. Oh, no, someone did a, one of those Build-A-Bears. I had a shirt that's a Nikocado, had all this stuffing. It was, you know, that's so much money. And what am I going to do? I feel horrible. You know, it's just an awkward position for everybody involved. So, yes, I shut down my P.O. Box after, like, a year. I'm like, you know what? Well, I've moved like five times, so I don't even live anywhere near there anymore. But still, I was like, not open up a new one. Oh, people would send perishable stuff, like food that went bad. Anyways, I know that sounds extra complainy, but it's just real talk, you know. And I love offending people on YouTube. I call them Ashleys and idiots and low IQ peasants. Hey, you're a peasant, you know. It's funny, but when it comes to people giving me their money or giving me gifts that they spent their hard-earned money for, I don't, it feels hard, it feels so hard to like belittle that part. Like if you buy a cameo for me, I will never, ever just say, hey, it's me, bye. Like I, I no. no, 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 no. You're not gonna get shit. Anyway, I'm just having a little snack and hang out with you. Because I've gone a whole month. I'm making a month long. Oh my god. I feel bad for people with corn allergies or corn sensitivities. Ooh. I love corn. It's like when you get pumpernickel toast or like whole wheat bread. It's like multi-grain. Not whole wheat, multi-grain. You taste all these flavors and seeds and shit. And you know it's healthy. It's like bran, raisin bran, like that raisin bran cereal. It's so healthy and you're like, you know what? In a way, I like it. It's like bitter. Sometimes you're craving that cardboardy, bitter, <laughs> earthy, earthy, you know? There's the pop. I keep looking. I know I dropped the popcorn. <sighs> oh, I don't need to bang the table. This camera went flying down. I had to buy a whole nother. I smashed my camera. You know, even the iPhones are expensive. The iPhones are so expensive. Hmm. I love how I sit here. I'm like, I don't like that. And I ate the whole f***ing bag. But according to this bull there's 30 calories per popped. There's two servings per bag, so that's 60 calories. Apparently this whole thing was 60 calories. Can you believe it? I don't know. Don't think so. One cupped pop is 30 calories. How the f*** is that possible? All that and the butter. And it says there's two servings per bag. So 30 times two, 60. 60 calories a bag? Is popcorn really that not low? What? What? Serving size, two tablespoons unpopped. Makes about five cups pop. Five. This is so confusing. 
five cups popped, one cup pop is 30 calories, so there's five cups, so three times five, but then it says there's two servings per, per bag, so it's three times five times two. Why can't they just fucking say, one fucking bag is 200 calories, bitch. Go on the treadmill. <sighs> this is what we do in America. Confuse the fuck out of everyone. <sighs> Why can't they just fucking say, one fucking bag is 200 calories, bitch. Go on the treadmill. <laughs> Let's see, I don't even try. Sometimes I do, obviously. You know when I'm like really acting up for the camera. You know? But the reason why I feel like I'm so good at what I do, because I'm an improviser. I can improv. I actually did improv as a musician and an actor. I can do something on the fly. And my life is also naturally dramatic, so sometimes I don't even have to improvise. There's shit going down before my eyes, and I just have to say, what the fuck? <laughs> I know it's kind of funny, too. I edit my videos, obviously. I've been noticing my, breath, my breathing's getting worse and worse, and I go, <sighs> I like have to slow down, get a bunch of air, <sighs> and let, oops, there goes that corn. And then let it come out. And that's actually adding to the humor. Like, I laugh hearing me huff and puff. Like, everything's like, these kernels, gosh, I'm calling corporate. <sighs> like, that's funny, hearing the puffing. No other, I don't say character, but no other person on YouTube talks like that. Could you imagine flipping on, I don't know, um, I don't know, some cooking show, you know. Was that girl, Laura, in the kitchen? Imagine if she was just like, <sighs> in the kitchen <laughs> where she's making her Italian food I know do you want to see this I don't know <clears throat> and she's over there whipping stuff up and she's like and you take your bread which obviously is uh, whatever <laughs> she just does this <laughs> see I'm funny and it's just coming naturally the fatter I get the funnier I am <sighs> scooter Lynn Ooh. anyways <laughs> In support of Costco's 2022 fundraising campaign, General Mills will donate $200,000 to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. No purchase necessary. Well, that's nice of them. Oh, and box, top, box tops. I remember my parents used to collect these. You'd send them to your school so the school can get more funding. They would cash them back. All the parents, well, the parents that did that. I'm lucky. I went to pretty some pretty good schools. I turn on TikTok and I see school fights. I'm like, wow. See, I didn't grow up in that. And I think it just, it creates a bad society when you grow up. And obviously, some schools have better funding than others. Some schools are in better districts or neighborhoods where you have some families where you have the families are, I don't want to say normal people, but they, they, they're not the... The kinds where like, oh, the electricity's going out, or you know, Meemaw's on drugs, and baby daddy's drinking and fucking around, and no one paid the bill, so the lights went out, and this person's shooting up heroin, and you know, my friend Chelsea Lynch, that was her upbringing. She turned out amazing, you know. Um, that's how she created Trailer Trash Tammy. It was based on the trailer trash type of stuff that she experienced. Well, not, I don't know if she experienced a lot of that stuff. She had her sisters, and I think, um, her parent, well, she talks about it openly on her interview. I love her interviews. But, you know, she's lucky. I think a lot of people, when you're exposed to a lot of shit, you end up turning into shit. And she and her sisters, they all rose above and, you know. That's why you always have to treat people with respect, too. Even if you know that they're in bad situations or their families aren't good or their schools aren't good. You don't know who's in that bunch. The next president could be sitting in that bunch. A brilliant mind. You know? I was born in a cabbage patch. Look how I turned out. <laughs> God, train wreck over here. Um, but in all, the odds are of society being good society, you educate them well. You know, China has a lot of flaws with their communism stuff, but a lot of the people, you know, are struggling and hungry. I get it, but um, they're raising very smart. Their schooling is uh, incredible. Incredible. I mean, if you want to give them credit where credit's due. Anyway, save your box tops. No more clipping. Oh, you scan? 
I know we used to cut them out and collect them all. It would be on our cereal boxes. It would be on, what well, have box tops? Popcorn? And if you're not in America, how it works is, uh, well, I don't know actually. <laughs> Like what's a box top? See how it says it's a little it's a little coupon that you're supposed to cut and bring to your school, and if they scan it or enter in a code or something, they get some type of pennies for tax deductions. I don't know. It's supposed to help out your community. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how it works. Look at me. I grew up in a nice school, and I don't know anything about anything. I'm just a fucking shit ball, stuff in his face, getting fat, riding scooters around Walmart. And calling everyone else in the world peasants. Look, I'm wonderful. <laughs> uh, and the colonels. <laughs> don't choke, don't die. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I do apologize. I have not been very active on here. I haven't had popcorn for years. Oh, there it is. It's the popcorn, the colonel skin. That was nasty, I know. My tongue is still blue. Uh, anyways. Thanks for watching, peasants. So much for supporting me as I burp. Thanks so for, for supporting me a little bit extra here and uh, just to let you know, I, I'm sorry I didn't post this month, but I will see you guys soon. And uh, I'm gonna go film, I'm probably doing, I don't know what the f I'm doing. I'm honestly craving Cheesecake Factory again. <laughs> I just did, I think I'm gonna do another Cheesecake Factory, honestly. I love Cheesecake Factory, oh, it's a decided. It's decided. I love Cheesecake Factory. <sighs> wow. I'm fat. <laughs> I'm so fat, everybody. Oh my God. And I will see you all later.